10 Bizarre Things That Were Normal In Ancient Egypt Ancient Egypt was one of the world's most advanced civilizations back when it existed. But when looking back at it from the modern world, some of the cultural practices from there will really weird you out. In this video, we'll be taking a look at some of the creepiest things that would be taboo today, but were completely normal in ancient Egypt. Let's begin. Number 10. Slavery This probably isn't the most shocking entry on our list, but in the 21st century, slavery has been abolished by every single country in the world and is almost non-existent in its most extreme form. Slaves in ancient Egypt were at the base of the class pyramid, below peasants and farmers, and generally had no human rights at all. Poor Egyptians were able to sell their children into slavery to pay off debt or simply make money, and the practice became extremely popular due to this. People who were deep in debt were also sometimes forced to sell themselves into slavery, where they would work until their debt was paid off, although most of them were deceived and never ended up breaking their chains. Egyptians generally preferred slaves from other countries, as there was a certain sense of pride and nationalism associated with that, but Egyptian slaves were also very common. Number 9. Crocodile Temples Crocodiles are some of the scariest creatures in the world. They generally live in freshwater sources all around the world, and some of the largest and deadliest crocodiles in the world are the Nile River crocodiles, which are found mainly in Egypt to this day. They can weigh up to 1,500 pounds and can reach a length of up to 20 feet. Clearly, this is not an animal you want to mess with, but ancient Egyptians admired the strength of this animal so much that they built entire temples dedicated to these crocodiles. And these temples actually had crocodiles in them. Sobek was an Egyptian god that was usually depicted as a crocodile, and it was in that god's temple where crocodiles were usually kept. People from all around Egypt would bring these crocodile offerings, such as live animals, and they were treated as something truly out of this world, beyond the status of humans at least. Number 8. Professional Mourners The end of an ancient Egyptian's life was sometimes considered the most important aspect of it, which meant that an Egyptian's funeral had to be extravagant and there needed to be an appropriate amount of mourners. In many cases, especially when a tyrannical pharaoh died, some people simply didn't have enough mourners at their funeral to be sad, so professional mourners were hired at the funeral to cry for the dead. These mourners would go the extra step and wail while pulling their hairs as if it were the worst day of their lives. But in reality, they were just there to get a paycheck. Or a pay pyrus. Number 7. Animal Heads Wearing animal heads was a surprisingly popular fashion statement by Egyptian pharaohs. Some animals, like cow heads, were worn by women as a symbol of fertility and femininity, while other Egyptian gods often wore a mask that was made to resemble that of a cat's. This was because Egyptian pharaohs were considered semi-gods on their own, and since many Egyptian gods were depicted with human bodies and animal heads, these pharaohs thought to replicate some of their divinity. Whatever the reason was, it was certainly a creepy sight. Number 6. Magic and Witchcraft Magic was an almost essential part of ancient Egyptian culture. While today, most people generally don't believe in magic, it was almost universally believed and practiced in ancient Egypt. It was an everyday occurrence. Women would wear magical bracelets to increase their own fertility or to affect the gender of their unborn child. Men would also wear magical jewelry to help give themselves more strength and power. Priests all over Egypt were known for their medical magic, and many Egyptians preferred going to these priests when they were sick as opposed to a doctor. Believe it or not, doctors were also a super common sight in ancient Egypt. Some ancient magic techniques from Egypt are studied to this day, with some people still believing it can work. Number 5. Mummification This is probably the most notable thing about ancient Egypt, so it's not exactly the most shocking revelation. But still, the cultural practice of mummification is truly one of the creepiest things about ancient Egypt. Oftentimes, the dead body's internal organs would be removed and placed into a box, and the bodies would then be stuffed to be plumped up and presentable. There were many weird ways the bodies would then be preserved before being placed into the coffin in a very specific position. For example, pharaohs would usually be buried in the royal pose, where their hand was placed on their chest. 
The mummies would then be wrapped and decorated, and this is something that ancient Egyptians believed sent people into the eternal afterlife. Not many people were actually able to afford this process, so I guess Egyptian heaven is simply filled with kings, queens, and royals. Number 4. Animal Mummies Speaking of mummies, humans and pharaohs weren't the only people who received the mummy treatment. In some cases, animals such as the pets of pharaohs and revered animals like cats and crocodiles were also mummified. Sometimes these pets were mummified alongside their owners, and some animals who were used as an offering were also mummified. Animals were highly revered in ancient Egypt, and they were so respected that once when a Roman visitor accidentally killed a cat during his visit to Egypt, he was lynched by a mob of angry Egyptians who felt disrespected. It shows you the kind of status that pets generally had in ancient Egypt. Number 3. Labor Strikes Okay, so this might not be the craziest thing imaginable in today's world, but the reason why this is so shocking is that it actually happened in the ancient world. Egypt and pretty much all civilizations around its time were essentially absolute dictatorships with no regard to human rights or civil rights. But Egypt was one step ahead when it came to labor rights. During the rule of Ramses III, at a time when Egypt was making strides as a civilization and was undoubtedly the world's superpower, workers at the Deir al Medina labor camp actually organized a full strike and refused to work until labor conditions were improved. King Ramses III was eventually forced to cave in to the workers' demand, and now that strike is considered the first labor strike in human history, going on to inspire millions of strikes in the future. Number 2. Curses We've talked about magic on this video already, but when it comes to curses, it's an entirely different level. Curses were an almost integral part of ancient Egyptian culture. People would go to great lengths to protect themselves from all kinds of different curses, mainly by giving offerings to the gods and taking the advice of various priests. The most famous curse in ancient Egypt would have to be the Curse of the Pharaohs. We've all heard of the mummy's curse by now. This was a curse that would be laid upon anyone who would try to disturb a resting mummy, and the curse does not discriminate with who opened it for whatever reason. By the time humans in the modern age started finding mummies, most of their tombs were already opened and looted, which meant the curse had already been laid. But when the tomb of Tutankhamun was found in 1922, it was one of the first Egyptian tombs to be found completely intact. When it was opened, at least a dozen people associated with the opening died of mysterious circumstances. Number 1. Marrying Your Siblings And finally, the creepiest thing about ancient Egypt is probably that boatload of inbreeding that occurred in the royal families. Inbreeding in royal families isn't even that old of a phenomenon. Just take a look at the various European royal families. But those families usually have generations of cousin marriages. In ancient Egypt, there were generations of sibling marriages. There's not a lot of evidence that sibling marriage was all too common among Egyptian commoners, but when it came to royals and pharaohs, it was almost expected. This practice was even adopted by later non-Egyptian families who ruled over Egypt, such as the Ptolemaic dynasty, in which Cleopatra was famously married to not one, but two of her brothers during her lifetime. Sibling marriage was, in some cases, a ceremonial marriage, not exactly a romantic link between two people, which makes it slightly less creepy, but still, marrying your own sibling is definitely a no-no in every part of the world today for whatever reason. And that's a wrap for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave us a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. See you next time.